We're going to move on to the belly of the frog. With the white yarn, we're going to make a magic ring. So grab it and hold it down with your thumb. Wrap it around your top three fingers like this. You're going to create an X on one side and two parallel lines on the other side, just like that. And now with your hook, you're going to pop your hook under the first loop, over the second loop, and pull that second loop under. Twist your hook like this, and then grab the yarn and pull it through that little loop. If you need to see that again, I will play it right now. So now we can make our single crochets in the magic ring. So hold your magic ring like this and make sure you are single crocheting under both loops. So the tail and the magic ring loop. If you don't do this, you're not going to be able to pull it shut later. So just make sure you are single crocheting under both the tail and the magic ring. And place six single crochets in this magic ring. So that's four, five, and six. And now with your thumb and your middle finger, just make sure that you're pinching the magic ring where you last single crocheted so that the ring doesn't curl up on itself when you close it. If you're not able to close the magic ring, it means something went wrong. So now we can continue single crocheting into the first stitch. You're going to place two single crochets in that stitch. And then you're going to pause and mark the first stitch that we made. So the second stitch back from your hook, you're going to mark that one. And in this round, we're going from six single crochets to 12. So we're going to be doing two single crochets in each stitch around the circle or increasing in every stitch around the circle. So coming up on the last increase here, now we are all done with round two. So make sure that you close the magic ring nice and tight, and then take out your stitch marker and make the first single crochet of the next round. And then mark that stitch. And now we're going to 18 stitches. So in every other stitch, we're going to be increasing. So in the next stitch, place two single crochets. So that's one and a second one in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch, just one single crochet. And in the next stitch, two single crochets. The next one, one. And the next one, two. And just keep repeating the pattern of increasing every other stitch until you get back to the stitch marker. Now coming up on the last increase of this round, we are moving on to the last round of the belly piece. So take out your stitch marker. I ended up just marking the last stitch that I did, um, but you can place your first single crochet of the next round and then mark that as we've been doing if you prefer. So this round we are going to be doing two single crochets increase all the way around. So that's the second single crochet and now we're doing an increase. So single crochet, single crochet, increase. And just keep repeating this pattern all the way around until you get back to the stitch marker. In my case, I'm going to be making an increase where I place the stitch marker. And in this round, we are going from 18 stitches to 24 stitches.
Okay, so we are all done the belly piece now, so you can take out your stitch marker. And we're going to be fastening this off by placing a slip stitch in the next stitch. So just poke your hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn, and pull it through directly all the loops on your hook. And then cut the yar yarn, and you're going to leave about a 10 inch tail. And that's so that we can sew it on the frog. And again, we're going to weave in the tail of our magic ring. So thread your yarn needle and then just go back and forth through random stitches in the back to make sure your magic ring is closed nice and tight and it's not going to come unraveled. I like to trim the tail of my magic ring just to make sewing a little bit easier and now we're going to move on to the eyes of the frog. So it is time for the eyes. So take your green yarn and make a magic ring. Again, you're gonna pinch it with your thumb here and wrap the yarn around your top three fingers. Make an X on one side and two parallel lines on the other side. And then take your crochet hook, pop it under the first loop over the second loop. Grab the yarn and pull it under. And then twist your hook grab the yarn and pull it through that loop on your hook. And now we're going to be placing six single crochets into the magic ring. Again, just remember you are single crocheting over top the tail and the magic ring. So over top two strands of yarn, place six single crochets. So that's two. three, four, five, and six. And then make sure you are holding on to the last crochet that you made so that the magic ring doesn't twist and tangle while you pull the tail shut. Grab the tail and pull her on shut. And now we're going to be making six increases into the magic ring. So pop your first increase into the stitch right there. So that's the first single crochet and then pop in your second single crochet for the increase. And then of course, pause and mark the first stitch that we made. So that's the second one down from the hook. And now we're going to be increasing around the circle. So again, increase in the next stitch. And then another increase in the next stitch and work your way around the circle increasing in every single stitch until you get back to the stitch marker. So this is our last increase of the round. So go ahead and remove your stitch marker. And now for the next round, place a single crochet in the first stitch and pause to mark that stitch. In this round, we are just placing one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. So we are not increasing at all. We are just placing one single crochet in each stitch around. Coming up on the last stitch, and now we are on to the last round of the eyes. So remove your stitch marker. This round is identical to the last one. We are just placing one single crochet in each stitch around the circle for a total of 12 stitches.
That completes the last round and now you can remove your stitch marker and we're going to fasten off. So with your hook, place a slip stitch in the next available stitch. So yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook and then cut your yarn to have about a 10 inch tail for sewing. And we're going to make two of these eyes identical to what we just did. So replay this part of the video and make your second eyeball. And also don't forget to weave in your tail end here as well. So now that we have two, don't forget to weave in your tail. And I like to trim the tail to make it pretty short so that we can sew it on a little bit easier. We're going to grab the plastic safety eyes from our Yarny Box kit and they work like a screw and a washer. So we are just going to pop in the black part onto a part of the eye. I like to have it so that the tail is all the way to the left and you are placing it in the middle like this. I like to do one stitch up from the bottom so that the eyes are pretty close to the bottom of the eye part, just like that. And just make sure you're popping the eye into the very center of this piece. It can be a little bit tricky to work it through, but just pop it in and then do it the exact same thing on the other eye piece and make sure they, the eyes are symmetrical before you pop on the washers. So those eyes look pretty symmetrical to me. And I'm just gonna take the white back bit and it just pops right onto the back and it should click a couple of times and then you'll know that it's on correctly. We're gonna sew the eyes onto our frog. So grab your yarn needle and thread one of the eye pieces onto it. And make sure you're sewing it onto the beginning rounds of the circle. You can see that it looks a little bit neater on the start where we actually started the frog from. And place the eye piece directly beside the magic ring, just like this. And you kind of have to hold the eye while you're sewing on. So just go slowly, make sure the eye part doesn't move while you're sewing around. And all you're gonna be doing is popping your needle into a stitch on the body and then popping your needle into a stitch on the eye piece. And we're just doing a basic whip stitch here, nothing too complicated. Just make sure you're pulling the yarn through both the body and the eye piece as you're going along. And make sure that you pause every once in a while, make sure that your eye isn't going totally wonky onto the frog. Make sure everything is nice and straight while you're sewing. So here I'm just making sure the eye is going in the direction that I want it to. And then if you stop and check while you're sewing the eye on, you don't have to kind of cut the eye off and restart because that is super frustrating and nobody wants to do that. And now I'm sewing on the back part of the eye. So just popping my needle into every single stitch on the eye, making sure it's super secure. And then once you're done with the eye sewing, just take the tail end and pop it through random parts of the body to make sure the tail is nice and woven in. Just like this, just weave it back and forth into random stitches, make sure it's not gonna come undone. And now you're gonna do the exact same thing with the other eye on the other side. I'm gonna do that off camera and I will meet you back once I've done. So now the eyes are on, we are just gonna trim the ends and we're going to add the belly and the mouth next. So the mouth piece is optional, you don't have to do it and you can also do it after you sew on the belly if you prefer just to make sure everything looks nice and even and symmetrical. I'm gonna do it right now, but again, it is totally up to you. You can also have the mouth just as a straight line for a grumpier looking frog or you can do a little smile. I'm gonna be showing you how to do a little smile so just pick two holes that are symmetrically in between the eyes like this. So make sure it's even and the holes aren't 
like one is closer to an eyepiece than the other, make sure it's directly in the middle of the eyes. That's what it would look like if you did want a grumpy frog and all you do is poke the needle straight through the back and then you would have a straight line. But I'm gonna do a smile, so I'm gonna go in the exact same holes that I just went into. Like this, and then I'm going to take my needle and pick a hole that's directly in the middle of these two holes so that I'm making like a little arrow shape. So pop your needle back through one of the holes and into the middle stitch that I was just talking about. And then pop the black yarn right over your needle like this. And then pop your needle through and then you're going to put your needle back into that middle hole and that's going to secure the little arrow shape or the little smile shape. And then you're going to take the other end and thread it on your needle and have it come poking out the exact same hole that the other tail's on. So just like that, make sure it's the exact same hole, like so. And then we're gonna take those two ends and tie them in a knot. So you've got your little smiley frog and just tie those two ends together. It's important that they're coming out of the same hole before you do this. Otherwise, you're gonna have like a little random black knot on the back of your frog. And then you can trim those tails and just poke it right back into the frog with your scissors. Now sewing on the belly works exactly just like the eyes. So pick the place where you want the belly to be and thread your yarn needle. And you're gonna have to hold the belly in place as you're working. Make sure the belly is directly centered between the eyes so that it's not off center. And you're just gonna poke your needle through a hole on the frog and then a hole through the belly, making sure you're going through every single stitch around the belly to make sure it's nice and secure. And make sure you're holding it the whole time to make sure it's centered. And now, because these are two different colors of yarn, I don't want a lot of the white stitches to show. So as you can see, I'm kind of going a little bit under the belly and then angling my needle and going up through the belly stitch. And that's just kind of gonna sew it a little bit underneath the belly piece and it's going to hide the white stitches. just work your way around the entire belly piece and I will see you back once we are all done. So now that we're all done, you can just take the white yarn and poke it through the belly and then into the back of the frog and chop it off. We are all done with Jimmy the Frog. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below, like this video and share your creations on Instagram at Yarnybox. See you again next month, bye.